It began with a whisper of light, a signal that had traveled for millions of years, through dust, through silence, through the fabric of space itself. And for the first time, it met something new, a telescope so powerful it could capture 10 million galaxies in a single glance. That telescope is real. It has a name, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory. After decades of design, setbacks, and ambition, it has finally opened its eyes, and what it saw has left astronomers speechless. These are not just the first images from a new telescope, they are the beginning of a new era, and of how humanity just gained a front row seat to the living universe. High in the Chilean Andes, where the sky is so clear it feels carved from crystal, a massive silver dome gleams against the stars. Inside it, a machine built to watch everything. The Simonyi Survey Telescope, Rubin's beating heart, carries an 8.4-meter mirror, one of the largest ever crafted. Its surface, polished to perfection, can capture faint light that began its journey before Earth even existed. But the true marvel lies behind it, a 3.2 gigapixel camera, the largest digital camera ever made. Each image it takes is so detailed that if it printed full size, it would cover an entire basketball court. Yet, this isn't a telescope made for still photos, it's made to record change. Over the next decade, the Rubin Observatory will scan the entire southern sky again and again, creating a time-lapse of the cosmos itself. Astronomers call it the Legacy Survey of Space and Time, or LSST. Every few nights, the telescope will revisit each corner of the sky, watching for what flickers, what moves, what explodes. It's not just looking at the universe, it's watching it breathe. The moment had been years in the making. Engineers gathered around the control room, monitors flickered, the air was still, and then the shutter opened. For a few silent seconds, light older than civilization struck the Rubin camera's sensors. Photons from distant nebulae and galaxies' messages from across time were caught and transformed into data. When the first images appeared on screen, the room erupted. The Trifid Nebula and the Lagoon Nebula, vast clouds of gas and dust in Sagittarius, blazed in colors no human eye had ever seen so sharply. Ribbons of crimson and blue wound around newborn stars. Dark lanes of dust cut across glowing clouds, where future suns were quietly forming. Then came another, the Virgo Cluster, home to thousands of galaxies. Spirals shimmered like golden whirlpools, ellipticals glowed faintly, and beyond them, like whispers, lay galaxies from the edge of the observable universe. Each Rubin image contained so much detail that it would take hundreds of 4K screens just to display one in full resolution. Astronomers said it best, you could spend a lifetime exploring a single frame. Most telescopes give us moments, single exposures frozen in time, but the Vera Rubin Observatory? It gives us motion. Its camera can capture a section of sky seven times wider than the full moon, and it'll do that every few nights, again and again, for ten years straight. This makes Rubin something entirely new, a cosmic filmmaker. It will record how stars pulse and fade, how comets drift through the solar system, how entire galaxies twist in slow, majestic collisions. Already, even during test runs, Rubin's instruments have discovered thousands of new asteroids, some drifting harmlessly through the void, others passing closer to Earth than we'd like. Soon, it'll find millions more, giving us the most complete 3D map of the solar system ever made, and perhaps the warning we need for threats we can't see yet. For the first time, humanity will be able to watch the universe evolve, night after night, in real time. The first images are only the surface of what Rubin will do. Because this telescope isn't just about seeing farther, it's about understanding everything. Rubin will measure how light bends as it travels across space, tracing the invisible scaffolding that holds galaxies together, dark matter. And by observing how galaxies drift apart over time, it'll probe dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating the universe's expansion. Together, these two make up 95% of the cosmos, Yet, we still don't know what they are. Rubin may finally give us the answers, but it doesn't stop here. 
Every night, Rubin will detect 10 million transient events, stars exploding, black holes flaring, quasars fading in and out. Each alert will be sent across the globe in seconds, allowing telescopes everywhere to turn and watch cosmic history unfold live. By tracking faint, fast-moving objects, Rubin will be our planet's early warning system, spotting potentially hazardous asteroids before they come close. It's a silent guardian in the sky, watching over the only home we know. And perhaps most revolutionary of all, Rubin's data will be public. Anyone with curiosity and a computer can explore its maps. Students, scientists, or even amateurs could discover something no one else has ever seen. Every night, Rubin will collect 20 terabytes of images and data, the equivalent of every photo uploaded to Instagram, in a day. That's 60 petabytes over its full survey, an ocean of cosmic information. To handle it, astronomers rely on supercomputers and artificial intelligence. AI will sift through billions of stars, comparing each image to the last, searching for tiny changes, a flicker, a movement, a new light that wasn't there before. In a sense, Rubin isn't just a telescope anymore. It's a partnership between human curiosity and machine intelligence, a 24-hour surveillance system on the cosmos. Every time it blinks, we learn something new about how the universe lives, dies, and begins again. But even this marvel faces its obstacles. One of the biggest threats comes not from space, but from Earth itself. As satellite mega-constellations multiply, thousands of bright-moving dots now cross the night sky. Rubin's massive images, they risk being scarred by their streaks of light. Astronomers are racing to adapt, building new software to remove these trails, and lobbying for better regulations on satellite brightness. Because every clean exposure, it means more accurate science and fewer lost discoveries. And then there's the data challenge. Processing Rubin's nightly flood requires some of the most advanced computing systems on Earth, spread across continents, powered by algorithms still being refined. Yet these are the growing pains of a new age. Every major telescope in history has faced unknowns, and every one has ended up changing everything. The first Rubin images do more than dazzle the eye, they already reveal secrets. In the Trifid and Lagoon Nebulae, scientists can trace jets of gas streaming from newborn stars, details once blurred beyond recognition. In the Virgo Cluster, faint streams of starlight stretch between galaxies, remnants of ancient collisions frozen in time. And far in the background are galaxies so distant, their light began its journey billions of years ago. Each one a fossil, a memory of the early universe. With each exposure, Rubin builds a new kind of map, not flat, but temporal, a 3D atlas of everything that moves, glows, or fades in the night sky. It's easy to forget that behind the mirror, the steel, and the data are people. More than 2,000 scientists, engineers, and dreamers have poured decades into making this machine real. They've worked through earthquakes, delays, and a global pandemic. They've spent nights calibrating a single sensor or aligning a mirror to the width of a human hair. And when that first image appeared, some really cried. Because it wasn't just a picture of a nebula or a galaxy. It was proof of what humanity can do when it looks up instead of down, when it believes that knowledge itself is worth the struggle. In that moment, every hardship melted into light. The first images are only the opening scene. The true show begins in 2026, when Rubin begins its 10-year legacy survey of space and time. By the end, it will have mapped 20 billion galaxies, logged millions of asteroids, and captured the evolution of the sky itself. It'll redefine our understanding of cosmic evolution, and maybe even test whether the universe we see is the only one that exists. Every night, Rubin will collect a few more photons, a few more clues to the puzzle of existence. And when scientists look back a decade from now, they'll say this was the night it all began, when humanity started filming the universe. For centuries, we believed the stars were fixed, silent, unchanging, eternal. But now we know better. The universe moves, it pulses, and it lives the Vera Rubin Observatory. It's given us new eyes to witness it, to see stars being born, galaxies colliding, and the echoes of creation still unfolding in the dark. Each frame it captures is more than data. 
It's a proof that we exist in a cosmos still alive and evolving. So, when you look up tonight, remember, somewhere in the Andes, a camera the size of a car is quietly watching the same stars, recording their stories, catching their final flickers. And the greatest story ever told, the story of the universe itself, it's just begun. So, keep your eyes on the sky, because the next image might just change everything. Subscribe, like, and stay curious. The cosmos is only getting started.